I, uh, I grew up in Texas, small town north of Dallas, and then I joined the Air Force uh, immediately after high school. I tried out for this team called Pair Rescue. It's the most elite combat search and rescue team in the world. I tried out for that and made it through the 10 week indoctrination course, which was like uh, a 95% washout rate. So we had like five guys graduate out of about a thousand people that tried out. That spun me into this training of about two years from combat diver course to free fall jump master to combat medic and then culminating all these skills into a pararescue university. I did that for about 12 years. It was a great experience. For, for one, it taught me that you can do anything you put your mind to. You think you can only do like a certain amount? Well, you always have more that you can do. And that taught me to push myself past my limits of belief and actually apply that and do it and overcome. After about 12 years, I got out on a medical retirement because I was in a couple helicopter accidents and I, I broke both of my legs, I pressed my spine, I fell 60 feet from a helicopter. So about two years into my retirement, I'm studying biology and I'm continuing my medical education, and, but I'm, I'm really more interested in metaphysics, so I'm doing a double major and studying metaphysics on the side, I was really determined to heal myself from my injuries. The medical Western world, allopathic medicine, weren't really giving me an option for that. They were just treating me with pharmaceutical treatments like uh, pain pills, antidepressants, and all the pills to counteract the side effects of those. Through my studies of metaphysics and biophysics, I started to learn that you can heal yourself. The body has this unimaginable intelligence inside it to heal itself if you have the proper elements. There's five elements that you need. Quality air, quality water, quality food, that's the earth, quality light from the sun, so that's the fire. The fifth one is the quality magnetism from the earth. The earth's field has dampened 80% in the last 4,000 years, so 80% reduction in the Earth's magnetic strength. The buildings and houses and stuff that we work in and live in, they're built to create a Faraday cage around you, you know, with rebar and the concrete, metal, steel walls. It's actually preventing you from receiving that fifth element of health. Over the last 20 years, we filled in almost completely the electromagnetic spectrum with all the electrosmog, from the Wi-Fi, from the cell phone towers, to the cell phones, to the radars, to the electrical grid, to the uh, HARP government experiences, etc., etc. All this pollution is preventing you from receiving an adequate amount of fifth element of health. I learned that the pyramids actually harness that fifth element. They create a charged environment. So they optimize your ability to heal, your natural ability to heal yourself. There was an incision made from here to here. That long. All right. And this was less than what six weeks ago. Sawed his heel off, and there were two incisions here and here, and they screwed it back on in a different place. The X-ray tech said that's fast because this was like a machete wound, and uh -huh. it had the big metal clamps on it. I mean, this was an exposed incision. There was no, virtually no swelling, no discoloration, and even the guy said, you're healing at a, he sounded like almost an accelerated rate. Mm. Yeah, man, look at that. I mean, that bad boy is like nothing. Well, he's doing it an hour on this side, and then and an, an hour, hour on the heel. Yeah, yeah, look at this bad boy, man. It's, I mean, this is, I mean, I have scars all over me. You this is a fast this. scar. You didn't have this. So what happened was the astronauts, when they left the Earth's atmosphere, they came back with all these illnesses like uh, bone density loss, kidney stones, muscle atrophy. So they spent millions of dollars trying to figure out how they could correct this. And they uh, found that the Earth's PEMF, the natural pulse electromagnetic field of the Earth, is the fifth element of health. So they put these in the space shuttles, they put these in the astronaut space suits so that they can have a sustainable magnetic field to artificially simulate that what they're losing of the earth. The guy that has a patent says there's more applications than chemical drugs all put together because there's so many frequencies that you can induce into the field and treat different ailments and illnesses. Different doctors around the world that are using PEMF therapy 
and some are finding that specific frequencies like 25 Hertz have been found to destroy cancer cells. I was issued a PEMF therapy device when I broke my legs to stimulate bone growth. Jason, um, thank you for the opportunity to speak about this 24 karat gold plated ARC2 pyramid. To my knowledge is the first and maybe the only on planet Earth at this point. And I hope in the near future that might change. For the last nine months, this pyramid has been in our home and it has earned the title, the presence of being a beloved. And I'm speaking about myself and my beloved daughter Lyrica and also happens to be a nonverbal autistic 41 year old communicates by typing and is often referred to in her circles as the autistic mystic. I feel so grateful and Lyrica feels so grateful to have this um, privilege and this experience in our lives and we only hope that anyone listening today might also have a similar experience because we feel like this is how the world's going to change. And there's a couple things I'd like to say before I have the ultimate privilege of sharing Lyrica's words that she wrote before Jason came. Our experience of this pyramid is really unique. We've been privileged that it actually is being guided under the direction and leadership of Lyrica's higher self. I think it's really prophetic that in this moment she's choosing to share this um, situation and truth. When I first downloaded my gift of technology for this planet's higher experience into my physical body as its container, I landed in a near-death reality. Suddenly, I could not eat or even sit up or stand or walk anymore. I went into hospice care expecting to die. And that's when the new ARC-2 pyramid came into our home. My team of heavenly and earth pattern supporters saw what needed to happen next. Together we moved this technology from my body build into the new pyramid. That's when I began to come alive again. The pyramid literally saved my life. I know that the pyramid supported this process so my physical body could let go and become pure light. So one of the big, big lost secrets of ancient wisdom teachings is that geometry is vibration. Geometry is a visual representation, a structural manifestation of vibration. The function of proteins, the function of DNA, it's all based on this geometry. These waves are around us, but they need to be tuned in order to be something that we can appreciate. So the tuning comes into what we call shape power. The shape of the pyramid is a natural funnel out of stone in which it captures these waves and it starts making them spin because it's like a fluid that spins inside the pyramid. People that are esoteric priests trained in these mystery schools, they're going to see light inside the pyramid. When you concentrate that energy into one area, you get he profound healing effects. So the Russian studies on the pyramids have shown that you can get rid of cancer, diabetes, all known diseases, mental health problems. You get more rainfall, you get a decrease in thunderstorms. Those are clues, the trail of breadcrumbs that ultimately leads us back to some greater vibratory force, which is consciousness. The highlights of my trip to Sedona this time was being able to meditate in a pyramid called the Arc Six, or sometimes I like to call it the spaceship, um, because you can travel to other dimensions and other places while you're meditating in it. Um, the Arc stands for Atomic Realigning Chamber. I was meditating in the Arc Six 
I was able to astral project consciously for the first time ever, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, I was able to control my astral body inside the ARC-6. The ARC-6 also acts like a shield or a protector for when you are meditating and wanting to explore, explore other dimensions or realms um, outside of Earth, um, outside of the 3D level. And saw two tall white beings on either side of my hands, um, on my physical body, and they were holding onto my hands and they were also hooked up to this pure white light source like above me um, and it was like they were pumping energy from this pure white source but through their bodies into my body and my observance of that is when they're when they're doing it that way it's to like slowly integrate the energy into my body so that it's not too much coming directly from this source um, the physical body was able to integrate that energy so pretty much the guides just wanted to let me know that they are here to assist me on my planetary mission on earth we run on the illusion of time inside of the arc six time does not exist what is needed to download shift and integrate happens instantaneously inside of this arc blessings beloveds i am sandra walter gatekeeper and I am here on Mount Shasta to recommend Jason Styles' product of the Christed Octahedron. I've been working with it for about a year, and I find that not only is it an amplifier of pure energy, but I've been working with it in my own unique way and actually fastened a crystal at the zero point, the scalar point in the center, which I find kind of radiates the energy a little bit more. Now for me as a gatekeeper, I'm always working with octahedron, so I was so incredibly blessed when Jason decided to start making octahedrons. And I find that they not only uh, generate and transmute uh, different kinds of energies, depending on how I use it, but when I take it up on the mountain, it attracts people, it attracts birds. It's really interesting the way that the energy works there. And because it is a sacred structure, I find that the, the true zero point in the center of the, the center of the center, right in the middle, is the strongest thing that I can connect to when I'm doing my gate work. So I do use it with gate work for opening up interdimensional portals and making sure that the energy is really pure. Because it is gold plated, that's our interface with our DNA and with the higher realms and those pure energies. So I've really been enjoying it. And I actually took it to ecstatic dance and plugged it in and had the lights come on and everyone was just thrilled with it. And they were like, what is that energy that's coming off of that thing? So it, it is palpable and beautiful. And thank you so much, Jason, for creating these. It's really a high compliment to our work right now. Thank you. So I wanted to see, because this guy is visiting from other places with all of us, so I said, in my head, I said, show me a planet, you know, I'm swimming on the water, but I, through that water, I can see like three moons or three suns, like three planets around that, so I know it's not Earth, right? Uh -huh. And that whole feeling, because I'm breathing and I'm living under that water, right? Just that, like, the feeling of that. And so for a while, and I felt like, <coughs> It felt so heavenly just being there in that space, right? And then I'm like, what's above that? And of course, like, I'm like, what's next? What's next? I want to hear what's next. So I just started seeing like a straight bright light like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, what did you feel? What did you see? And he said, I didn't see. Like I, he said, I, I'm past putting things into imagery. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have my brain creating images so but I just have the state of being and so what's the state of being state of being love the source so, uh, yeah like that thing like for, for me to have the heart chakra like shaking like that like it usually starts from like the lower you know like you have to like shake up the base and like move that up so then my leg starts usually shaking and then it moves up and then the heart shakes and then the throat kind of like closes up and then off I go right right there. 
here, just one straight here and out. 